If you use a laundromat, park at parking meters, or just buy your morning coffee with cash, well, you've probably found yourself wondering, where did all the change go? And is it ever coming back? Well, tonight, we have some answers by the numbers. $48.5 billion in pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. That's how much change is out there in circulation somewhere. That's equivalent to 194 billion quarters. That's a lot of laundry. So where did it all go? Well, it's sitting in America's 128 million households according to a U.S. Mint task force charged with investigating the case of the vanishing coins. In 2021, the Mint produced 14.5 billion coins and another 13 billion will be minted this year. But less than 20% of coins in circulation each year are new. The rest circulate through transactions. And spending habits are shifting. Just 19% of our transactions were cash in 2020. Compare that to 40% back in 2012. It's a trend that experts say is likely to continue. Now, the shortage is most acute for the more than 7 million U.S. households without a bank account relying on cash transactions. The Mint suggests spending stashed away coins or people can deposit or exchange them at banks or kiosks to help make a change in the change crisis. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.